Hi everyone, so in today's video I've got my mum with me. I wanted to do a makeup tutorial for people with more mature skin. So if you have problems with your eyeshadow and you've got no idea what to do but you want to wear some makeup then I've just given you a few sort of tips and tricks and also my mum says that she finds certain things about her makeup difficult and she never really knows what to do so I thought I'd use this as a bit of a lesson for her as well. Just to let you know as well, she has a condition called cervical dystonia yeah. and it just causes her head to shake slightly. She's a bit embarrassed by it, so if you notice that her head shakes, that's why it does tend to happen a bit more if she's a bit nervous. Mm. So unfortunately it happened more during this video, so I just thought I'd let you know just in case anyone's wondering, but this is what I'll be showing you today. I explain everything in the video, but basically we just wanted to really define the eyes and just give the skin a really youthful glow. I think she looks really pretty. So if you want to find out how I did her makeup, then please keep watching. So I'm going to start off by priming my mum's eyes. I'm just going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. If you want to use a proper eye primer, you can. Um, you just need to make sure that it's right for your eyes. So if you've got more oily eyelids, I'd use something like the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base or the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. If your eyelids are more dry, then I, you can just use a concealer and then just set it with a little bit of powder. So I'm just going to blend that in. Make sure you go all the way to the inner corner, right up to the brow bone. And I'm just going to take a little bit of loose powder, again on my sponge, just dab a little bit on the eyes. And just blend that in. It will just help set the concealer and give us a good base to blend the eyeshadows onto. So we want to go for a nice soft look but we just want to make it more defined around the lash line on the top and the bottom. So I'm just going to create a bit of definition. You can use any transition colours that are just one or two shades darker than your skin colour. I'm using Peach Smoothie and Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek. These are slightly more warm toned, but because mum's eyes are more hazel, I think this makes them pop a little bit more. So just use small circular motions. And I'm being very careful not to tug on the eyelids and just very gently blend that in to the crease. If you don't have a crease, if your eyes are a lot more hooded, you can skip this step and just focus more on the lash line but because mum doesn't have that fitted eyes, you can blend some shadow into her crease a bit more. So you just want to get a little bit of definition. Make sure that everything's really blended. You don't want any harsh lines at all. If you're looking for a good eyeshadow palette to use for more mature skin, then I think that the Urban Decay Naked Basics ones are amazing because they're quite soft colours and you've got mostly matte. So just to define the outer corner a bit, I'm going to use a bit of texture by MAC. This is again quite a warm toned colour. You could use something like Wedge from MAC or some of the ones from the Naked Basics. And I'm just going to put this in the sort of outer third of the eye. I'm going to make sure that you don't take it down too low keep it nice and high and then it will help lift the eyes up. It just adds a little bit of definition to the outer corner and just helps lift up the eye a bit. So I want to just brighten up the inner corner a bit. I'd use a matte eyeshadow for more mature skin. If you wanted to use something I look to make it look a little bit more bright, you can use something with a sheen. I wouldn't use anything shimmery, so I'd go for like a satin eyeshadow. This is Foxy in the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. I'm just taking a bit on a flat brush and I'm just going to press it right into the inner the two thirds of the eye, going into that texture. Make sure it's right in the inner corner. Again, if you've got hooded eyes, just go halfway up your eyelid. But because Lum's eyes aren't that hooded, I can take it right up to the crease and then blend it. So if you press it in, you'll get a lot more payoff from the shadow than if you if you swipe it on. And then just take 
the brush that you use for texture and just soften all that together. You can keep building on these colours until you get the depth that you want. But I'd start off fairly light, especially if you're not used to wearing makeup. And then build it and you can see how much your eyes can take and how much you like it. So just to add some definition to the lash line, I'm going to use a black eyeshadow, any black eyeshadow will do. If you feel like black's going to be too harsh, use like a grey or even like a purple. And you can slowly build up and if you want to darken it, you can just add a little bit of black. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up about halfway across the eyelid. I'm just going to gently start swiping and pressing it on the lash line, keeping it very close to the lashes. And then whatever's left over on the brush, just take it in a little bit further just so it's nice and blended. But I'd start off with a really thin line, because you can always thicken it up. And if you do your eyes first and you get any fallout, you can always wipe it away before you start working on your face. Gently lift up your eyebrow only a tiny bit, and it's a lot easier to get right into that lash line. Make it nice and defined. And if you use an angle brush or a flat definer brush, you can really smudge it in as you're applying it without pulling on the eyelid too much. So it really just defines that lash line and just makes the eyes look a bit bigger and a bit rounder. If you've got quite round eyes to begin with, you can go all the way to the inner corner. But this just gives more of a youthful effect. And then you just want to smudge it in just a little bit just so it doesn't look harsh. And again, you want to make sure that you bring it up slightly, you don't bring it down, otherwise, it can make the eyes look a bit more downturned. So it just makes the eyes look bigger and more defined. I'm just going to touch up a little bit on the inner corner just because I want it a bit brighter. Once we finish the rest of the face, we can come back to the eyes and just fix them if we feel like anything needs fixing. So one thing I wouldn't skip is curling your eyelashes. When you curl your eyelashes, it just helps open up the eyes a bit more. You only need to give them a little curl, just right at the base of the lashes. If you've got more mature skin, I'd use a mascara that has a thin wand. This is a Max Factor Masterpiece Max. I would avoid ones that are very big and chunky because when you're putting your mascara on you're a lot more likely to get it on your eyelids and underneath your eyes as well. So when you put your mascara on you can go fairly heavy on your mascara it will really help define your eyes. Especially if you've got hooded eyes you should always focus on, your, on the lash line and on your lashes and that's what's really going to open up the eyes. And don't forget to put a little bit on the top as well. And it just adds so much effect to the eyes with mascara. So I'm going to leave the eyes for a minute and start working on mum's face. One thing that I know that mum always does every single day is apply sunscreen. I would always recommend that. And also, when you moisturise your face, you always want to make sure that you moisturise your underneath your chin and your neck. Because they do age just as much as your face. You want to keep it nice and hydrated. So I'm just going to put a bit of moisturiser on mum's face. Make sure that you apply a little bit more in any areas that you think are slightly dry. So for primer I'm going to use some of the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. This has got glycerin in which is what makes it a great primer because it gives the makeup something to stick to. If you've got large pores and oily skin I'd use something like the Benefit Professional or Makeup Forever do quite a few different skin primers. Mum's skin's pretty good, so we'll just use this because it's what she uses on a daily basis anyway. You want to rub this in until it goes a bit tacky, and that's when it works best. But obviously, be very gentle that you're not tugging on the skin. So, we want to keep the face looking very youthful and glowy. We don't want to keep it too matte because that will um, emphasize any fine lines or wrinkles or anything like that. So we're going to use the Max Factor 201 Foundation Serum. This is what my mum uses anyway. 
and I'm going to use a damp sponge to apply it because she doesn't need a lot of coverage but just something that's going to help even out the skin tone a bit. So I'm just going to dot it a bit around her face. I'm just going to blend it in. I try and avoid using brushes like flat kabuki brushes or stippling brushes or anything like that if you've got more mature skin because it does tend to tug a little bit more. You want to use something that's nice and soft and gentle on your skin. When it comes to putting concealer under the eyes, you want to be really careful that you're not using anything heavy um, because it will emphasise any fine lines under your eyes, which is exactly what you don't want to do. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting a little bit of that Maybelline Fit Me on a flat foundation brush and I'm just going to pop a bit on the inner corners of the eyes. Very small amount. Yeah. If you have like bags under your eyes, you just want to put concealer where the line of the bag is. You don't want to put concealer all the way under your eyes because it won't help hide it. Just putting the concealer on the line of the bag will help hide it so much better than putting it all under. You just want to pat that in. You don't want a lot. I'm just bringing it down slightly. I'm not using anything that's brightening up too much because again that won't help look youthful, that will just age you slightly. <laughs> And then I'm going to take some of the loose powder again on my sponge. Just a small amount though. I'm not going to use as much as what I would want to use myself to set my concealer. Okay. And I'm just going to gently press a little bit under the eyes. Mum has a lot of problems with her mascara transferring underneath her bottom lashes. So this should help prevent it slightly. And it also just helps the concealer in place and stop it from creasing. I'm only putting a little bit on and then I'll sweep the rest of it away soon and then scratch your head. And you just want to put a little bit on the forehead just to help set it. Any places where you find that you get too shiny, again because we want to keep the skin looking youthful, I'm not going to put a lot of powder on and I'm just going to keep applying it with a damp sponge. So I'm just going to put a little bit along the jawline because I'm going to be putting some cream products on the cheek. You don't want to be putting cream over powder because that's when it starts to look cakey. So while that's settling, I'm going to stop on Mum's eyebrows. So I'm going to just brush through the eyebrows with a spoolie so the hairs are going in the direction that we want them to go in. And you want to use something very soft when it comes to eyebrows, so I'd stick with a powder. If you find that you've got really, really sparse eyebrows, then you can go in with a pencil, but I would avoid anything like a pomade because it can look very harsh. This is the Freedom Makeup Brow Duo in the colour type, and I'm just going to take both the colours. And I'm going to start about halfway, just to get a little bit more definition on the tail of the brow because at the moment mum's eyebrows on the inner corners are slightly darker than the outer corner so we just want to deepen up the outer corner a bit to keep it nice and soft. I'm not going to make it go straight down to a point I'm just going to just going to add a bit of definition to the outer corner <laughs> So the front, I'm just going to flick my brush up just so I don't get any harsh lines or anything but it makes such a difference and it helps just frame the eyes even more if you've got eyebrows that are more defined. feel like you've got a bit too heavy on the eyebrows if you just take a sort of flat brush you can always just clean up you can always put a bit of concealer on it as well just clean up if you feel like you've got a bit too over 
And what I like to do is just take a fluffy brush, this hasn't got anything on it, I'll just gently start pushing it on the front bit and it just softens it a tiny bit. So I'm going to sweep away any powder that's left on one side because we don't want to leave it there too long. So I'm just going to start with a fan brush just to get most of it away. And then I'm going to take that fluffy brush again and just very gently sweep it away. And it just helps to brighten up the eyes, set the concealer. And the concealer shouldn't crease as much under any fine lines or wrinkles, and it just softens it all off a bit. So for blusher, I'd always stick with a cream blusher. It just will give the cheeks a bit of a sheen without looking too crazy. And it'll give it a nice flush of colour. This is Posy by MAC, and I'm just going to take my sponge, dab it into the brush, and just dab off any excess on my hand because you want to start with a little bit and then just build it up and you want to keep it sort of on the cheekbones I'm not going to add any highlight because mum has quite defined cheekbones anyway but it just helps lift the cheeks up even more if you apply your blush a bit higher if you apply it down here onto the apples of your cheeks when you smile when you then relax your face your cheek then seems to go down which you don't want to do so I'm just going to keep building this up until it's the depth of colour that I want it to be. It just adds a nice sheen to the face without looking too over the top and a nice flush of colour. If you want to add any highlight you can, I'd stick with something that's a bit more matte and not too shimmery because it will emphasize any sort of pores or fine lines or anything like that so you want to stick with something that's maybe a bit more of a sheen rather than a shimmery blush so just to add a little bit more of a sheen and just help set that blusher you can skip this if you want to this is a mineralized blush by mac and i'm just going to take it on the brush just a little bit and just sweep it over the cheeks it has got a tiny bit of shimmer in but once it's on the cheek can't really see it. and you can always if you feel like you've applied too much or you don't like it just take the sponge just the side of the sponge and just dab it and it'll pick up any excess and also just help spread it around even more so I just want to add a bit of warmth to mum's face this is a extra dimension skin finish by MAC you can't actually get this anymore but the makeup forever pro fusion bronzer is a very similar Thing. and it, again it just adds a bit of a sheen it doesn't have shimmer in it if you want a cheaper alternative you could go for one of the bourgeois bronzers they have a really nice soft finish to them or like I said you could use the makeup forever one Mac do some nice bronzers as well and I'm just focusing that just under where I put the blush at and a tiny bit on the forehead it gives a very subtle warmth to the face. Because like I said I don't want to do any contour because I don't think that mum needs it and I think sometimes it can look a bit too harsh. So you can just keep building this up until you like it. It's also mixed in with the blush and gives it a bit more of a peachy look which definitely looks very pretty. So I just want to add a little bit of a highlight under the brow bone just to help lift them even more. Again, I'm not using anything shimmery. This is Foxy by OVK. It's the same one I used on the eyelid. And I'm just going to pop it underneath the arch of the eyebrows. It just helps to lift the eyebrows slightly. And just add a bit more highlight. So I don't want to do too much to the um, to underneath mum's eyes. I just, again, want to add some definition. I'm not even going to put any eyeliner or anything on. What I'm going to do and I'm going to take texture again. This is just on a pencil brush. It's got a little bit of black on from when we smudged above the lash line, but that's okay. And look up. And I'm going to put it in the sort of two thirds across the underneath of mum's eye. So I'm not going to take it right to the inner corner where the lashes start. I'm just going to go about two thirds and just buff it in gently. I'm 
take the brush that I use for the bacon just to help lend that so there's no harsh lines whatsoever. Then I'm going to take the angled brush again with a little bit of black on it and I just want to put this on the outer half of number so I'm just going to push it in. And this will help open up the eyes even more. Just going to connect it with what we did on the upper lash line. And then just take the brush you use on the lash line and just smudge that in a bit. Then I'm just going to add some mascara to the lower lash line. I'm just going to focus it mainly at the roots of the lashes. And it's got quite long lower lashes, this might be why sometimes it transfers a lot. You just want to give it a little wiggle of the roots and then just flick it down to the end of the lashes. So to finish off mum's makeup I'm just going to Put a little bit of lipstick on. You want to use something that's a bit more of a sheen, you don't want anything that's too matte or too glossy. So I'm just going to use a lip liner just to define mum's lips a bit. Especially around the cupid's bow. And this is Sublime Culture by MAC. This is a cream stick liner, so it's a bit more creamy than a normal pencil. I'm just going to define the bottom looks slightly as well. I'm not overdrawing them. I'm just following the natural line. And then I love using the satin lip pencils by NARS because they're not too glossy. They just give a bit of sheen and a nice bit of colour. And they wear off nicely throughout the day so they won't emphasise any lines on your lips or anything like that. Just to make mum's lips look a bit fuller I'm just going to take Myth by MAC just pop it into the centre. It just gives it a little bit more of an ombre effect. So I'm just going to finish off with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. It just helps to tone down any powder. It just gives a bit more of sheen to the face. So I'm not putting too much on, just a little bit. And then just leave that to settle into the face. And then you can always just take this sponge and just go over any areas that you feel like you need to. So at this point you can look at your eyes and see if there's anything that you want to define a bit more. If you wanted to add a bit more eyeshadow to the outer corners, you can always just pop a little bit more on. Just want to bring it in a little bit further than what I did, just to help tie in how make it looks together. Just like that. And it just helps to open up the eyes even more. So this is the finished makeup look. I think that mum looks so beautiful and it makes her look a lot younger. And I think she's learned a few lessons from when she normally applies her makeup. Like it? Yeah. If you want to see more makeup looks from Susan, then just let us know in the comments down below. I want to do a bit more of a dramatic one. This might be dramatic for some people, but I think that as you get older you should focus a lot more on your eyes and you should use it as an opportunity to really bring them out and make them look more youthful. I really hope you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Bye!